The film's creator, Stu Peters, has built up hundreds of thousands of followers and millions of views across different platforms. I wanted to speak to him online. When I joined the call, it became apparent he'd rented a warehouse especially for the occasion and had brought his own crew to film the interview in order to get his own distorted message out. So I wanted to touch on a few other things. You know, similarly with the Damar Hamlin stuff, you have said that... Uh, well, he died suddenly on the football field. Let's move on. ...in Ukraine is fake, and I just wonder what you meant by that. Oh, so what I mean is that we're funneling money into a fake country, a construct of a country that wasn't even a country before 1991. These were arbitrary borders set up by the Bolsheviks and Vladimir Lenin during the color revolution. These are arbitrary borders. Most of the people in that country that are Russians just want to be Russia. So this is just exactly what happens when you agitate a country full of people that you tell are going to be a part of this fake construct with this installed leather chap wearing ostensibly homosexual piano penis playing actor. I mean, that's Vladimir Zelensky. How many wives are in his name this week? I mean, the whole thing is fake. Even his name is fake. Of course it's all fake. And we're sending hundreds of billions of dollars there to enrich NGOs. And, uh, you know, basically it's a Lockheed Martin missile testing site is what it is. All of the bodies are buried in Ukraine. Uh, this is the country that paid millions of dollars in bribes to the uh, former vice president, sitting vice president's son, Hunter Biden. Have you reported on that? Did you report on the laptop? Did you? Me personally? No, but the BBC. Yeah. Why? Why didn't you? Me personally, you know. Yeah. No. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care about all the corruption because you're a part of it. You help to perpetuate it. That's why. You don't care. You can sit and you can come over here from Chicago and you can, on your vacation, do the directive and the bidding of Big Pharma to try to disable. And all you're doing, by the way, all you're doing is empowering the people who want the truth. These people want a real leader, which is probably why after President Trump is indicted, I should probably be the president. Do I look like I'm joking? You want to be president. Somebody's got to lead this country. A couple other things. I mean, you believe homosexuality should be illegal. Yeah. What should the punishment be? What we'll to think on that. But oh, pedophiles, though, should definitely be put to their death on a public stage. You touch our kids, we'll kill you. I think that message needs to be sent very clearly. And I think you've also said that the top medical officials should be put to death. Anybody, any, let me be, I'm going I'm to be very clear for you here. Anybody that was responsible for bringing to market this weapon of mass destruction that is killing children should be held to account. And if they're found guilty in a court of law for committing the crimes against humanity that they're perpetuating, then absolutely the death penalty should be on the table. Yeah, so you're talking executives, scientists, all of them. Politicians. It's going to be a long line. Media. Oh, yes. Yeah. All of you people, for sure. If you're found guilty of crimes against humanity and responsible for killing children, yes. So, like, that's very clear, right? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Yeah, stop trying to be hyperbolic. No, no. Okay, just, just stop it. Stop it. I, I don't know, are you guilty of crimes against humanity? 